Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I am back with another 3D printing project. Friends, we're going to be working with the ANET ET5X, so let's get cracking. Friends, a user reached out saying, hey, do you know how to make the Kira Posit Layer Height work with the ET5X? Friends, I've done a little testing and I'm stuck. Let me show you where I'm at and I'm hoping that you all can help us figure it out. All right, friends. So first things first, we are using Kira 5.2. I will launch that right now. We are also using the stock ET5X. I'll show you those screens as we get closer to that part of the project. All right, friends. So here is Kira. I am going to quickly open up my project. I'm going to do this tiny little heart charm because it prints super fast. It is only two millimeters thick. Now currently it already has this loaded. I'm gonna cancel it so you can see how we do it. So with your design in, you can see I've got it set to print via USB. This is only gonna take two minutes. What we're gonna do is click on extensions, post-processing, and modify G-code. We get to add a script. I'm gonna choose the pause at height script. When you click on it, it lets us pick height or layer number. I'm going to stay with height. And since I'm doing 0 0.3 layers, I'm going to stop at 1.2. That'll be four layers, which is pretty good. You can pick which way you need it to stop. I am using Marlin firmware. It's got a disarm timeout. I'm not going to change that. I am going to tell it to park the print. It's going to pick 190, 190. I'm going to set retraction at 6 millimeters. Retraction speed I'm going to leave alone. Extrude I'm going to leave alone. Extrude speed I'm going to leave alone. I do want it to stay heating. I'm going to tell it to stay at 205. If we scroll down it does also have text and then it has a before pause and an after pause. I believe these are the settings we need to change but I don't know what they are. Friends, right now, let me get the other camera set up and let's hit print so you can see how this works. Real quickly, let me show you my settings. I'm using a layer height of 0.3, wall thickness of 0.8, top bottom of 1.2, infill 20, cubic 260 are my temperatures. My print speed is 60 and then I am doing a skirt five lines 10 millimeters away. That is my default setup when I do anything with this printer. All right, friends, so here we go. You will notice that I have this set lower than I should have it. Uh, it is on my list of things to adjust, but my prints are coming out fine. They're just a little shorter than they're supposed to. Right now it is doing the five lines. This is where you can see how close I've got it to the bed. It gives me great adhesion, but we do lose a tiny bit of height. We are using glow-in-the-dark filament today so it is going to look clear while we're letting this happen. Right there is the pause. But it immediately comes right back and continues. Friends, that's what I'm asking about. Can you tell me what I need to add so that it'll actually do the filament change? Or is it an issue with the ANET stock firmware? With that out of the way, let's bump this up to 5x speed via video editing so you can see how it finishes. Alright friends, so real quickly. There is our adorable little heart charm. We're not having success with pause it Lair, but let's give that glow in the dark a quick try. Almost total darkness and friends. <laughs> and there it is, friends. Glow in the dark, heart charm. How fun is that? All right, so there you see the steps to get the pause it Lair height all set up. We obviously got to see that the 3D printer did pause, but then it immediately restarted. 
I'm wondering if we can add some more code in those little boxes so that it actually does a filament change at that spot. If any of you out there have any suggestions, I would love to see it in the comments. Friends, of course, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Don't forget, friends, you always make my day if you take time to leave a comment. And of course, if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when this brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.